Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be making a simple quiche. Today we're having breakfast for dinner as well. So I have some pre-made pie crust that was made specially for me. I am not the baker. Uh, if you ever want to see how the dough I make for the pizza is made, how any dough if I'm using it in any recipe, let me know and I can hook you up with the video. But as for now, that is not something that I do. That could change though. All right. So we have the dough. We're going to go ahead and roll it out, squish it down a little bit into a circle. I had this rest in the refrigerator overnight and sat it out for a couple of hours to allow it to come to room temperature so it's easier to roll out. Looking about a quarter of an inch with looking for a circle. Go ahead and spray our pie pan just with some Pam. All right, now the hard part's over. We're gonna place it like such so the ends get around the pie, like so. Cool, that, that worked. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and press the insides to start molding it into the pie canister unit, or whatever. I'm kind of bringing the crust up. I'm gonna cut off some of this extra right here. It's not going to be pretty, but I promise it'll be good. Maybe it'll be pretty. I don't know yet. We'll see. We want to build the crust, to put the crust, or melt the crust over the edges because it will shrink in the oven. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and poke some holes to prevent it from puffing up too much, allow heat and air to escape. I kind of overdo it sometimes and that's fine. Just don't rip any holes. I'm gonna go against on the sides as well. Do, 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 do. So how's everyone doing today? Doing all right? For a Monday? What are you having for dinner tonight? Maybe you'll make this recipe. Let me know if you do and how it comes out. Okay, cool. So you want it to be looking like this sure you get a decent amount of airflow in the crust. So what we're gonna do with this is pop this in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. And what we're looking for with that is just the par bake it. Just enough so you can hold the liquid without um, getting soggy. All right, so catch you in the next clip. Okay, we have a couple things going here. These are all the components that I have prepped um, previously before we got started filming here. So this is what's all going into the quiche batter mixture. We have some sliced ham. I had some frozen broccoli that I just extracted the liquid from by just sauteing it for a little bit. So drying it, we don't want it too soggy. I have 
a half a bell pepper, quarter um, yellow, quarter red, and also I have sweet onion. Italian parsley, finely chopped. Chives chopped, about a tablespoon, and two green onions, i.e. scallions. And this is basically bacon bits that I pre-cooked along with more of that ham for different type of texture and roasted some slices of garlic, three cloves of garlic. You're gonna need six large eggs. You're gonna need a whole cup of half and half or heavy cream to milk. It really depends on what you're going for. For this recipe, we're using half and half. You have two slices of American cheese, two slices of provolone cheese, and in here I have shredded some mozzarella, extra sharp cheddar, sharp provolone, and also some pecorino. And this is going to be our cheese mixture. All right, I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna start constructing the batter, so call it. Okay, what you wanna start off with is cracking those eggs. If anyone is a master egg cracker out there, hit me up. I need to learn some tips. I'm making a mess. All right, six eggs in. We're gonna add some, a dash of rosemary. Some black pepper. Onion and garlic powder. A dash of cayenne. And about, I'm gonna use a uh, half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of Frank's Red Hot for more flavor. It's not gonna be too spicy. It's just gonna add flavor and color. You can use your favorite hot sauce. I'm going with this one today. A little bit of low sodium soy sauce to add depth. Great. Add our milk. Whisk away. <clears throat> now we have about two minutes on the clock. We're gonna wait and we'll construct our quiche. Catch you there. All right, we're back. We got it out of the oven and it's hot. It looks pretty good. We're gonna call this rustic. It's gonna taste amazing, I just know it. By the way, um, when you guys weren't looking, I added just a small dash of sesame oil to that mixture. I think it'll add some awesome flavors. We're here to find out today. Well, I'm here to find out for you. Um, before we move on as well, if you guys are interested in seeing meal prep videos, um, kind of behind the scenes and how that gets done, um, just let me know. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna add several things what we're gonna go for first is add some cheese on the bottom so first we'll add some American and a slice of provolone and some of that mixture okay I found layering the ingredients is better because um, sometimes ingredients could just get stuck in one place 
if you just add everything and then add your egg mixture right away. Might not matter that much, but food for thought. We're gonna add, let's go for this. Our garlic, bacon, and ham. Great. Our broccoli. Oh, this already smells amazing. And ham that's not been sauteed and rendered. Do all that. I'm gonna add chives and green onion. Make sure we get some even coverage here. More cheese. So this time I'll go for that. Provolone. More cheese mixture. Decent amount. This was about a cup of cheese, cup and a half maybe. If you're curious, add some more veggies to the top. Try not to overfill it, I might just have, but <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Just having some fun today. All right, let's go ahead and pour in our egg mixture. Oop. I'm making a mess. Till it fills to the top. Like so. Okay. More peppers if you need it. Why not? We're gonna add the rest of the cheese to the top. And our oven is gonna stay at 350, just like when we par baked. And this time it's going to go in for 45 minutes. All right, folks, is as simple as that, especially if you prep your ingredients beforehand, slap it together, and you gotta breakfast for dinner complex going. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven for 45 minutes and I'll catch you in the last clip. Okay everyone, it's been resting for about 10 minutes. This is our finished product. Looks beautiful and rustic and I'm sure it's gonna taste even more amazing. So let's get her cut up and we'll give it her taste like usual. Perfect. That's a decent slice there. She's steaming. She's cheesy. Can you guys see that? I'm seeing the slice of garlic, the American cheese dream, the broccoli, that ham. Oh my gosh. That onion. Let's try not to burn my mouth this time. Wow, that's amazing actually, it's very comforting. Oh wow, let's do one more. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> you guys should try out that recipe. It's really great. I would recommend for a nice dinner. All right, everyone. I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces. Man, this is so good.
All right. Let's eat.